Hey everyone. Well, um, today I wanted to um, talk about the uh, pod filter that um, I put on. I probably got um, 125 miles on it. I've driven it since I put the pod filter on. It has more power. Um, I get three more miles for speed. Um, does it do a wheelie when I leave the stop sign? No. Will it break the tires loose when I leave the stop sign? No. But I do feel a difference in the um, performance. I've got, like I say, a little bit more power. Um, where, say, I was doing half throttle, now I'm doing quarter throttle. The... Um, Intake sound is a little bit to get used to. Um, it is quite loud when you get that snorkel off and you just have the uh, pod filter on, but I've got a radio, so it doesn't really bother me that much. The um, radio pretty much drowns it out, but if I'm not listening to the radio, it's um, kind of loud. So that might be something you think about before doing it, but um, mine has got a 40 um, a 40 low speed jet and a 120 main jet seems to be running real good I was going to drop it down and try a 115 but it's just running so good that um, I don't think I'm going to mess with it well I checked my um, miles per gallon I'm getting um, 61 miles per gallon so hey he can't beat that as far as I'm concerned so, um, yes, I'm happy that I put the pod filter on it. I do, like I say, it's um, a little bit of extra oomph. But, I mean, when you put the pod filter on and jet it, you're not going to jump on the bike and then hit the gas and be like, oh, my God, it just totally, I put a new motor in it. Now you're, you're not going to feel it that much. But when you get out driving it and you cruising through town and all of a sudden you look down, you're doing 20 miles an hour over the speed limit because you're, it's just, that's, that's the kind of things you'll notice. Um, when you get to a hill, when you hit the gas, it's a little bit more there. When you're going up the hill, you don't have to give it as much gas, so... Like I say, all in all, um, I uh, am glad that um, I did the pod filter. So, like I say, I've got a video on jetting it, removing the carburetor, putting it on, and I've also got a um, video on the test drive so you can hear what the intake sounds like. But I'm uh, glad that I did it, and I wanted to let you guys know that... Um, I think it's um I think it's a lot better. So do what you want. I mean it's your bike, whatever it is, but um if you're thinking about putting a pod filter on it, get a jet kit and um start with a 40 and a 120 and uh stock is 38 and 110. That is stock jets is 38 low side, 110 high side. So, like I say, mine's got a 40, and it's got a 120. So, all right, well, peace out. I'm glad that you're watching. Thanks. Please subscribe. I need some more subscribers. My uh, subscribers are low. So, thanks, everyone. I will uh, catch you, see you when I see you.